Hello, now we are going to discuss SolidWorks 2018 user interface. The screen you see in front of me is result me launching SolidWorks software a couple seconds ago. When you start the software, this will be your open screen. Now, before we go into part or assembly environment, let's take a look of what we have in the screen in front of us. In the upper left hand corner, we have our standard toolbar. Welcome, New, Open, Save, Rent, and so on. Notice if we select the word sort works, a fly menu appears giving us the drop down menus for File, View, Tools, and Help. I recommend to bend this open. When you bend it open, your standard toolbar will be back to the right of the fly open menu. In the upper right hand corner of the screen, we have our search window. This will allow you to search for commands or features in SolveWorks software. Now, let's go into one of the three SolveWorks environments. I'm going to select New. A new SolveWorks document dialog box opens. There is three different environments that we can go into. The part environment, assembly environment, or the drawing environment. I'm going to go into part environment. I will select part and then select OK. Now, in the first, going into part environment, it's always good to get into the practice of making sure your units are set correctly. Right now, it says my units are mmgs which is millimeter gram second if you need to be working in different units you can simply select different units from this menu i'm leaving it mmgs now this area of the screen is called a graphics area this will you create your sketches parts and assemblies in the far left hand side of the screen we have our feature manager design tree. Now to better demonstrate this, I'm going to open a part file. I will select open and select the part, then the part file appears in the screen. Now let's take another look at the feature manager design tree. This feature manager tree has all the parameters that we used to create this model that consists of sketches and features. If you recall, SOLIDWORKS is a parametric feature-based modeler. That means that we can go back to this feature manager design tree in part environment or the assembly environment and make changes and these changes will be reflected in other environments. Let's take a look at the top of the screen. Here we have what we call command manager and notice we have different tabs which brings up different ribbons. We have feature ribbon, sketch ribbon, evaluate ribbon and so on. If we right mouse click in one of the tabs, we see a menu allowing us to open up other ribbons. In the top middle of the graphics area, a heads up to toolbar. This is a handy way to get to some of the most common commands that we use when creating sketches, parts, and assemblies. For example, zoom to fit, zoom to area, previous view, section view. Then we have our different view orientations front, right left, top, bottom, and back. It's very handy. I think you are going to find out it's very easy to use and a quick way to move around the screen to get different perspectives of the view. Along with that, we have a drop-down menu, which allows us to view or not view items in 
the screen along with with this some appearance settings. Now to the far right we have that item called task pen. In the task pen we can do many different things. If we expand it, we have access to many solid works resources. We also have a selection for the design library. We can go into different sites and pull components into our parts and assemblies. We can also change the appearance and the material of our model. There is very information here we can't cover in this lesson, but it gives us a, a, an idea that you do have many resources here. Now, if we go into the assembly environment, you will see that the user interface is very similar. What is different is the command manager. You will have different tabs, different ribbons, because we are in different environments. So, that gives you a good idea of the SOLIDWORKS 2018 user's interface. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to support me with like and subscribe to get more. Have a nice day and until the next video.